Explorer here, and today my video will be about AdSense. This is going to be an updated video. Um, through my previous video, there's a lot of confusion. People just don't understand it. I partly blame myself, and then I partially blame people because, well, some people just don't understand it. Some people are just wondering what AdSense is when I clearly explain it in the video. Some people think that AdSense is YouTube, so I'm just going to clear that up because a lot of people don't understand it. So let me just first start by explaining that if you have an AdSense account, you don't have a YouTube revenue sharing account. Those two are not connected directly. You can have an AdSense account and run a website and also have a YouTube account, but not have a YouTube revenue sharing account because they're two different things. YouTube revenue sharing account is specifically the AdSense version of YouTube. You need AdSense to have a revenue sharing program account, but they're not directly related. AdSense is also for websites. You do If you have an AdSense account, which technically speaking does not really require you to really try out or anything, you just click sign up and usually you'll get accepted if you listed that you're old enough. If you said you're over 18 in your, uh, in your um, registration for your account, you will be able to, technically speaking, have an AdSense account. It doesn't mean that you have a YouTube revenue sharing account, and it certainly doesn't mean that you will be able to make money off of YouTube videos. It just simply means that you will now be able to have ads on your website or blog. Now, that just means that if you have a blog or a website, for example, my blog, which is dinazortech.blogspot.com, my blog, I can simply put ads in there, and that is thanks to my Google AdSense account. But my AdSense account does not really relate to my YouTube revenue sharing account. My YouTube revenue sharing account was created because YouTube asked me if I wanted to monetize one of my videos. And monetization, just in case anyone's wondering, is spelled with a Z, not an S, because a lot of people don't know how to spell it at all. And second of all, monetization is for a video and not a website, um, specifically in this case. So for YouTube, if I have an AdSense account, it doesn't mean I'm going to monetize my videos. It doesn't mean I can. It just means that I might be able to have if I'm a revenue sharing program beneficiary. That's basically all it means. So just to clear that up. So what I just want to talk about, because I've covered basically everything about YouTube, I'll just quickly go over um, what you might need to become a uh, beneficiary of that revenue sharing program because some people um, have more than a thousand views but don't understand why they... Uh, why they weren't accepted or why YouTube didn't ask them. I honestly don't think there's a way to try out or uh, or to um, like apply to be a YouTube revenue to be in the YouTube revenue sharing program. I don't think there's a way to apply. Um, but the only definite way is if you are a partner and if you're a partner that means that you obviously can profit off your videos if you become a partner which is not the easiest thing to do by the way if you become a partner you will obviously be able to profit off your videos but not being a partner and uh, just being an everyday person with videos not the easiest thing to do either YouTube has to ask you and I'm not aware of any other method to become uh, in that to be in that program so you definitely need to take some certain steps towards that. Um, when I was asked to do it, the rules may have changed because when I was asked to do it, it was simply because one of my videos had like over a thousand views overnight. Not too big of a deal. I mean, it wasn't some kind of like my video went super viral. Um, it wasn't that big of a deal. But I think the rules have changed because there are some people, um, either the rules have changed or they just don't follow the rules or something happened. Because there are some people that told me that they have thousands and thousands of views on their videos. And they got those thousands and thousands of views overnight, and they're telling me that uh, they didn't get asked to do it. Now, one of two things could be causing that. The first thing is that they could either um, have some kind of copyrighted content issue um, that YouTube didn't want to ask them to do it because if they had an issue with that, um, they didn't really want to make a mon make the person any money from stealing someone else's content or using it in the video. So that could have been one of the issues from that. Second thing that could have uh, been happening is that the person most likely either lied to me. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. And uh, let me just get to the third thing. Sorry if I didn't mention the third thing. Third thing is that they might not upload frequently. Um, uploading frequently is a very, very, very major thing for YouTube. You can't upload once a month or you can't upload like, like 
every couple of uh, every couple of weeks, uh, one video in like three weeks. You can't do that and expect them to make you any money off of it. There are rare occasions where that does happen. Don't get me wrong, but usually they won't just accept you into the revenue sharing program if you upload once a month. Um, usually don't have that uh, popular videos and really you need either a a fairly large audience or b videos that are uploaded frequently in relatively good quality and you upload them um, relatively frequently so you have to upload them maybe once per week once every nine days ten days don't upload it once a month i mean that's that's a definite no-brainer don't do that at all that is not going to work for you and i honestly strongly um don't agree with anyone that thinks that they can do that and still be accepted or be a partner something like that and if you are a partner um partners usually can do whatever they want i mean once you become a partner you really there's nothing else that's stopping you on youtube unless you violate some terms so if you're a partner really nothing that's stopping you besides breaking the rules and then you get kicked out of the partner program and possibly your YouTube channel gets closed kind of like I, I touch iPods did um, if you look on his channel uh, I might have a link in the description I don't know it's fairly easy I mean almost everyone knows him that's into tech um, I touch iPods he got first he um, he was kicked out of YouTube because he for some reason they thought that he did uh, used a copyrighted video then he fought them and got back but now he's no longer a partner so don't definitely don't violate uh, don't violate any rules and those rules include don't use any copyrighted content um, unless you mention that the person gave you permission and yes they can check they can if it's a major corporation they could very well ask them if you gave them if you were given permission and if you weren't given permission I'm not saying they will do this but they have all the power they want to do that I mean they're YouTube I mean they can do anything so oh, when it comes to YouTube they can do anything because they own it and um, if you do something that that involves copyrighted content just take it off or private it something don't even try to get anywhere if you're having copyrighted content on your channel. And gaming is not copyrighted content because you're uh, you're um, changing the environment of the game. You're changing how the game works. If it's a story or a video from the game, that's different. But if you're if you're doing um, team deathmatch and Call of Duty Black Ops, you can do that. You can post that on YouTube because it's interactive and there is no set rules or there is no set guidelines as to how it's going to go everything just happens in a split second no one knows what is going to happen and that's the whole thing behind gaming gaming is different and if you really want to know more ask me a question I'll definitely answer it so that's all I have to say about it so three things you gotta do maybe four upload frequently videos have to be in relatively good quality don't they don't have to be in HD. Um, you want to have an okay mic. I mean, you you can't have a mic like my first video. If anyone saw that, my first video about the surge case, you could hardly hear what, what I was saying, which is kind of embarrassing, but you really can't hear anything if the mic is not working well. So you'll hear like, <laughs> and that's not what you want to hear. So definitely, definitely invest in a microphone or try to find some other source that is either with a microphone that has a better microphone or there's always the option of if you're recording black ops or um or any call of duty game or any game that has interactive gameplay that's not a story mode or something like that um anything that that happens like that that doesn't have to have any any commentary and it doesn't have to have a microphone you could just be an all gaming channel but you have to either either have good uh relatively good video quality and something like that upload frequently and definitely 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 do not use copyrighted content if you if you want to have a shot i didn't use any copyrighted content and i and they asked me so that's definitely something you should you should look into um next thing i want to talk about is adsense so for adsense people have been wondering how to do this for websites someone asked me i think ota gamers yeah ota gamers uh, he asked me how to uh, do this, and what I will explain is simply go to AdSense if you have one. AdSense, log in, and go, instead of going home, go to My Ads. And click New Ad Unit, and you want to name it something. So I'll do YouTube AdSense Test. So, there are many different styles of ads you can choose. 
Some of those include the recommended ones, which is medium rectangle, large rectangle, leaderboard, and wide skyscraper. They give you all the sizes of what they will be. Um, you can also look at the examples of ad types and sizes, and that way you will be able to completely see what you're going to be getting if you select that specific ad type. And the ad size and type is all dependent, is all uh, user user generated, so you can put all your input into that, you can switch it around, do anything you want with it, it's completely controlled by you. So, what you want to do is, with the ad type, I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend that you always use text and image rich media ads. Those are the best, most likely the most profitable. Um, the worst, in my opinion, is text ads only. I mean, literally, they're horrible. I have not seen anyone that's profited greatly off of these text ads. Text ads are like those where you see like green text. I'm not hating on YouTube or any, um, hating on Google for having those ads or the company that has those text ads. I'm just saying they usually don't work. In my opinion, they're very boring. They don't really offer anything that that anyone would like to click on. If it has text and images with rich media ads, um. It's showing something. For example, if you have an ad and it's about a computer and you're a computer guy, you have a blog or a website all about technology. If you have an ad for, say, an HP Pavilion, um, people are going to click on that if they see the actual laptop. And the laptop looks pretty nice. So in the ad, if the, if the laptop is seen, people will want to click on the ad because you will be able to see it and they will spark some interest. And that, in turn, will make you money. So let's simply just get on with this. So definitely click on that. Leaderboard is my favorite. Um, leaderboard and wide scrape and wide skyscraper are my favorite types of ad sizes. You can do whatever you want. Those are just the rec recommended types, and I recommend them too. Custom channels don't even mess with that. Not really important. The next thing is ad style, and that's for AdWords ads only, but you can still um, do some things with that. And if you want AdWords, you want to know about AdWords, just search it on Google. And this will uh, really customize how it looks, the colors and everything like that. Google Default is by far my favorite. It works the best. Don't even change that. High contrast black and high contrast white, I honestly don't recommend them. In my opinion, they don't look good, but that's... All up to you. You can honestly do whatever you want. Experiment with it. For a week, try out one type of ad, then try out the other type of ad. Uh, see if you get a noticeable difference in how much money you make. It all comes down to your user preferences and what really works for you. It it can range differently from every single person. It really doesn't doesn't really get affected by what kind of ad you use. It just depends on, on what your website looks like. Every... Everything really, really determines determines what people are going to click on it. Um, no two ads, even if they're the same ads on the same website, unless it's a very similar looking website, those ads are probably going to get different looks. On, on different websites, the ads could be looked at differently. So definitely experiment with this so that you know what will serve you best and make you the most money. So the last thing you need to do is save and get the code. So when you click save and get the code, it will give you the code. Wait, no, I have uh, this. That's a duplicate name. Sorry, I'll just call this YouTube. So I will just click on that again. And it'll give me the code. This is an HTML format. HTML format is the is usually the format that most websites and uh, and uh, blogs allow you to paste into their uh, into your widgets, um, into your extra gadgets. For example, on a blog, my blog is Dinosaur Tech. Dot blogspot.com and by the way just another thing comment down below or send me a message if you want me to do a tutorial on how to set up a blog or a website and do all this so what I'm just gonna do is if you see right here I added a gadget called HTML JavaScript I'm just going to edit that and I'm going to replace it with this script that I have right here which is HTML so I just replaced it if you can see this is the new this is the new this is the old and this is the new so all you have to do is basically just put that in there. It's not as simple as just taking a picture, which some people actually thought would work. I'm not hating on them for anything like that, but some people actually thought that putting a picture inside of a website, which isn't even possible unless you own the website or just... People thought you could just drag the picture on the website. Whatever. It, do, it doesn't work. The way you do it is with HTML. That is the way you do it. 
that's the way it has to work, and I honestly recommend that you do that. So the next thing is, the next thing that you always have to do is just click save. Don't don't stop it or uh, click anything else. So definitely click save. So now when I go over here to my blog, this is the preview by the way. My ad is going to appear right here. Uh, where is it? Okay, right here. This is my ad. As you can see, there are pictures here. There are pictures, and the pictures really help. When there are pictures, people want to click on the ad. If there's a picture, people will most likely click on it because it, if it's a picture, people will want to click on it because they see what it looks like. For example, um, the Samsung Droid Charge. I don't. Uh, that's the multimedia desk desk stand. Um, that is going to spark some interest because that will definitely show people what the product is and definitely want um, encourage them to either click on it which also makes you money and or either buy it either way you're still making money and the way it works for AdSense I don't know if I mentioned this already but when you click on an ad there's a difference when a person clicks on your ad there's a difference between them than viewing your video for example if you view a video um, for me, let me just check right here on my different computer. I've had like 500 views today, and I've had like five ad clicks, and I've made like two dollars, and um, that is basically gotten me two dollars. The views are greatly, greatly out outmatched by the ads. The ads are superior. One ad click can give you as much as fifty, like as low as fifty cents to a, to as much as like three dollars. I once had an ad click that gave me three dollars, and I had several ad clicks that gave me three dollars. So those are very good days for me um, when I got tons of money from the ads. And tons of money for me may not be tons of money for you, but I don't really work, so it's fine for me. And um, if you have like five hundred views on your video, that's not even gonna give you that many that much money. But if you have ad clicks you will make money one one view is not even a cent one ad click can be fifty cents to three dollars or maybe lower than uh, fifty cents maybe higher than three dollars but either way you definitely want to make the ads more appealing so definitely 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 go check it out and make sure you add the ads to your website and make sure you're monetized so the next thing i just wanted to explain is um I will most likely be doing a video about um, a generator that I'm going to have installed downstairs. Um, go ahead and check that out when I have it uploaded. Uh, actually, comment down below if you actually want me to upload it. I'm going to get a generator because the power's been going out after Hurricane Irene. So that wasn't very good when the power went out. So what I'll just be doing is a, we have an, a generator being installed so definitely you wanna comment down below if you want me to do a video about that I'll probably explain explain how to get installed who to call um, what kind of generator it is something like that I'll explain all the specs behind it and what it can really do for you uh, next um, as you can see I'm using ScreenFlow and not using my camera because my camera is not really the best for recording the screen and people have told me and commented below in my other videos like the AdSense video that they really don't like it when I'm using solely my camera so they commented and told me they didn't want it so um, I'm going to be using ScreenFlow from mostly now on um, I'll figure out some effects and stuff like that so I can show you and I'll show you how to get ScreenFlow for free because it usually costs money I'll get I'll show you how to do that um, all later comment down below whatever you want me to do I'll probably answer it and uh, right here I'll have a link for the uh, video of the uh, actual um, first AdSense video. That will most likely answer some questions that I didn't answer in this video. You can send me a video. You can send me a video message if you want. Uh, message, comment down below, anything basically. Um, so please rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll have more videos soon. Definitely want to go check all that stuff out. So peace.